Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. One of my subscribers asked me to do a compound interest and logarithms video, so I thought I'd do that. So let's firstly talk about what compound interest is. Um, so you guys should have seen some of my compound interest videos. So let's just recap your knowledge. Um, if you invest $20,000 Okay, you put $20,000 in the bank or wherever, and you get an interest of 4%, so 4% of $20,000 will be added on. Compounded annually, so what that means is the first year I add on 4% of $20,000, and whatever that amount becomes, I'm going to find 4% of the new amount and then add it on the following year. So I'm going to keep doing that for five years. So what is the, um, how much money will this $20,000 grow into at the end of the five years? So what you would do is you would go 20,000 times 1.04. Now the reason why it's 1.04 is we're increasing this amount by 4%, right? Because 1 is basically 100%. 0 0.04 is 4%, so times 1.04. Now it says 5 years, so you're going to do that 5 times. Alright, you're going to keep doing that 5 times, but that's a lot of times you have to write it. So the quick way of typing this in the calculator, or the quicker way of writing it down, is times by 1.04 to the power of 5. Okay, to the power of 5. And put that in your calculator and you will get so 20,000 times 1.04 to the power of or is to the power of 5 right and the answer is 24,333 so let's put that down here And that is how much money you're going to have at the end of five years. Okay, so that's awesome. So what I'm going to do now is show you another example where we compound the interest, um, let's say, daily. Okay, here's the question. I have $30,000 at an interest rate of 3.5% compounded daily how much money will I have in 10 years time okay so the first thing we're gonna work out is how many days are there in 10 years time and we're gonna give that a variable so we're gonna say n equals number of um, compounding periods right because Right now, the compounding period is daily, okay? But there are 10 years, so it's going to be 365 times 10, which is 3,650 days, All right? And then the next thing we want is I. I is the interest rate, interest rate, per uh, compounding period per compounding period so what does that mean that means right now um, sorry I should have said 3.5 percent per annum okay I forgot that so this is the yearly interest PA means per annum yearly interest so um, because that's 3.5% per year, we want the interest for a day. So what you need to do is you're going to go 0 0.035. Okay, that's the yearly interest, right? But we're going to divide it by 365 because that's for one year. This is for one year. This is how many days there are in a year. So this is number of days in one year. So then this will become, let's type it in the calculator this time. 
a really small number, okay, which is 0 0.00009589041. Very small number. Okay, so it's probably easier to keep it as a fraction instead of writing that out. Now, um, so yeah, if you guys remember, what we did was we went 20,000 times 1.04 for the previous question. So now what we're going to do is substitute it into a formula. So I'm going to make up the formula. Uh, well, I didn't make it up. It's just what the formula is. So the formula is A equals. So let A equal the final amount so how much money it'll grow into um, at the end and let P equal the initial amount which is the principal okay P is the principal so A is going to equal P so remember how we had 20,000 that in this case is P Okay, it's going to equal P times, okay, what are we multiplying by? We're, multi we're multiplying it by 1 plus I to the power of N. Okay, so what happened there? Well, I in this case is 0 0.000958 because that's the interest rate per compounding period. Now, look what we did before. I in this case was 0 0.04, right? In this question here, I was 0 0.04. But now in the new question, because we're compounding daily, I is equal to 0 0.035 divided by 365. So that's our I. And now if you add on I to 1, so here we times by 1.04. So here we're going to add 1 to i, so it'll be 1 point something, so a equals, um, what was p again? p was uh, 30,000, so 30,000 times 1 plus i is, uh, is all that, so rather than writing all that out, you can probably just write that in, 0 0.035 divided by 365 to the power of um, to the power of 3650 3, cuz n is how many days there are so previously we only had 5 years so we just write to the power of 5 that was n so um, now now n is bigger it's 10 years so 3650 days so if you type all that into the calculator now be careful when you type it in because very easy to make a mistake when you type in a big equation. So it's going to be 30,000 times bracket 1 plus 0 0.035 divided by 365 bracket. Now Divide is going to be done before the plus, so this is fine how we typed it in. To the power of, which is usually that key, 3650. Okay, so that looks right to me, so you can press equals. And you can see the answer is 42,571. dollars and 31 cents so that is how much money you're going to have at the end okay so how does this relate to logs how does this relate to logs so let's say in the same question um, let's say so in the same question I'm gonna say how many years actually hang on a second no, I'm right. How many years will it take 
uh, with the same principle so same situation as above same principle and same interest rate for this investment to grow to let's say we want a hundred thousand dollars okay so I've set a target I want to know how many years will it take to grow to a hundred thousand so I'm gonna go a hundred thousand is now a right the principal is still thirty thousand the interest rate is still the same the only thing we don't know now is n we don't know what how many days it's going to take so let's copy down the formula again a equals p bracket 1 plus i to the power of n so let's put in here the principal is 30,000 the 1 plus i the interest is 0 0.035 divided by 365 that's the interest and the number of compounding periods we don't know what that is and that's what we're trying to find so in order to solve this we need logarithms okay forgot to sub in a hundred thousand here so the first thing I'm gonna do is divide by 30,000 on both sides hopefully you guys at this level would know what that means so it's gonna be a hundred thousand divided by 30,000 and then on the right hand side I only have what's in the bracket um, to the power of n I only have that remaining um, so let's work out what's on the left so what's on the left is uh, well let's just cross out four zeros because uh, you can do that divided by 10,000 on both top and the bottom so it's 10 over 3 equals uh, 1 plus <clears throat> all that so in order to now solve this we're going to use logarithms so what we're going to do is we're going to log both sides so we're going to go log bracket 10 over 3 equals log of all of this stuff inside the log okay to the power of n so all of this is actually inside of the log function it's the input to the log function now if you guys remember when the input inside the log function has a power we can move this to the front okay so now it's n times log of 1 plus 0 0.035 over 365 and then on the left hand side it's still log of 10 over 3 so now what does n equal n is going to be equal to now we're multiplying by this on the right hand side so if we divide by this on both sides we'll end up with all right dividing it on both sides oops sl slow hang on log 10 over 3 divided by log 1 plus 0 0.035 over 365 all that is going to equal n so n equals okay now again be very careful when you type it in so i'm going to go clear it i'm going to go um log of uh, log where is log log of 10 over 3 divided by um, log of uh, oh, too many uh, 
what too many brackets one plus 0 0.035 divided by 365 okay and press equals it's got 12,000 oops 12,556.31 12,556.31 days. Okay, so does that really work? Well, you can try it. Okay, you can try putting it into your original equation. So in your original equation, if we went P, so 30,000 times 1 plus 0 0.035 over 365 to the power of 12,556.31 if you put all that into your calculator okay and see what you get so 30,000 times 1 plus 0 0.035 divided by 365 to the power of 12,556.31 you get uh, 100,000 oh, very close to it because I rounded off this number so yep it, it does pass the check it does pass the check so what I'm gonna do is now well, that's the answer, but usually you want the number of years. So if you divide that 300, divide that by 365. So 12,556.31 divided by 365, you get 34.4 years. So 34.4 years. Okay, so that's the answer. I hope you guys can see a bit of relevance between compound interest and logs and feel free to ask me any more questions. I'll try and find out for you. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.